The initial letters of this uh, idiom, Ifra Mistabra, is uh, spelled very simple two letter word, M, mother. Mother in Kabbalah is the Sfira, the, the power of Bina, of understanding. Meaning that the place that there is intuition and that is sometimes the opposite of what you intuit relates to one's faculty, one's intellectual faculty of understanding, which is called his, his mother property. The father property of is direct insight and direct intuition that you don't have the concept of counter intuition that the opposite is the case what is a very very beautiful indication of this that I just now said that as we said before this idiom is a Talmudic idiom that when the rabbis are discussing, debating, arguing about something, so one rabbi says, I think such and such, and then someone comes and says and actually demonstrates to him that if from his trouble, that what you thought to be intuitive or right, correct, is the very opposite is the case. This phrase, which is the, the phrase that encapsulates the, this idea of counterintuition, appears only in the Babylonian Talmud. And we know that there are two Talmuds, two versions of the Talmud. One is the Babylonian Talmud, which is a much larger in extent. The other is the Jerusalem, or the Eretz Yisrael Talmud. The difference between the two Talmuds is such that the Jerusalem Talmud is very direct and straight and to the point, and there's not so much shock levitaria, there's not so much argument in the Jerusalem Talmud. That's why it's also relatively shorter. Whereas the Babylonian Talmud is a lot, a lot of discussion and argumentation until the final maskana, the final conclusion comes about. In Kabbalah, it's said that the Jerusalem Talmud represents the mindset of wisdom. Wisdom is the father principle. In the worlds, wisdom is the world of Atzilut. That it's absolutely clear the presence of Hashem, Shiviti Hashem, the Negdi Tamid, I see Hashem in, in front of me always, therefore I do not feel myself to be a separate entity a separate consciousness. That's a father realization. Whereas mother realization is the mind, the created mind, the created consciousness that does have its initial concepts, what is right, what is wrong, what is correct, what is not correct. And at that level, since there is definitely their self-consciousness, you can be wrong, just like you can be right. But your, your first hashkafari shona, your first thought can either be right or it can be wrong. And very often it's wrong. And even, even at the greatest sages, the first thought, the hava amina it's called, or the hashkafari shona, even a very great, great sage, can not only can be wrong, but be the very opposite of the truth that becomes apparent through, through the argumentation, through the Shaklavitaria of the Babylonian Talmud. So once more, that's why this concept, this very idiom of Ifchom Istablo appears exclusively in the Talmud Bavli and never appears even once in the Talmud Yerushalmi, Ifchom Istablo. Now as we said before, the initial letter spell M, the fact that it appears exactly 19 times in the, in the uh, in Babylonian Talmud, what does 19 represent? 19 is the name of the first woman who is referred to as the mother of all life, of all living being, Chava. 
meaning that there's something essential that relates this idiom, ifcho mistabro, to the original female figure of the Torah. It either means that for the man, that the woman is ifcho mistabro, or that for the woman in herself, in and of herself, the mentality is such that that either you, you, you the woman understands something, in which we, you, we speak of woman's intuition. But that intuition is often subject to a total reverse. That if from Mistapra, that the very opposite is the case. And she herself can come to that realization, or should come to that realization. So her mind is such that she's tuned into intuition, but not always is the initial intuition correct, and she should be able to turn around her mind and come to, a, to the true intuition, which is the Ifum Yistav Rashi once by the initial letters is spelled M, mother, and the, it appears exactly 19 times, Chava, M Kolchai. What does it equal? The, the, this idiom as a number, and as we, again, as we, as our methodology is to uh, create models from Kabbalah for all the topics that we discuss, we also like to use Gernotia. Uh, and uh, this phrase of Ifrom Yistabra actually equals 815 which is the same as, as two phrases that are here are written on the board. One is Baal Tshuva, that every Baal Tshuva, every person that returns to Hashem, so it's some switch, what is it, again, what does it mean counterintuition? Counterintuition means there's, there's has to be some switch, some 180 degree turn, turnabout in one's mind, in one's consciousness. And that switch is what is, uh, is, what is necessary for a true, for a true Baal Tshuva. Bashkoko Pratis, we're now sitting here. Tomorrow evening will already be Rosh Chodesh Nisan. And uh, we're taught that the Kuula, the redemption of the redemption of Nisan, even though Rabbi Yoshua in the Gemara says that it does not require Tshuva, but the Chasidot says that, that there is a special Tshuva which corresponds to this month of, of uh, Nisan, it's not like the tshuva of Tishrei, that that type of tshuva of Tishrei, of Elul and Tishrei, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, that's not the tshuva which is necessary according to Rabbi Yashor for the Gula. But there is definitely a type of tshuva which is necessary, that without that tshuva the Gula cannot come. And the difference is, is that the tshuva of Tishrei is one of hitchaskut and hishtapot, those are the terms in Hebrew. And the person knows what is correct and what is right and what is wrong. And when a person makes a cheshbon nefesh, an accounting with their own soul, he knows that I am not 100% right in accordance with what I know to be right. And so I have to improve myself, I have to strengthen myself. Once more, the normal sense of tshuva, of doing tshuva, means that I, I know, if I just think about it, I know what's right and I know what's wrong. But I, when I think, when I judge myself, when I measure myself, am I doing the right thing? Am I walking according to the right path? I know, bin every individual knows that I'm not 100% okay, I'm not even 90% okay. And so I try to improve in accordance with what I know. That's the tshuva of Tishrei. But Nisan is a different thing altogether. Now we're, once more we're approaching tomorrow night's Rosh Chodesh Nisan, which this is the month of redemption. And the tshuva which is required is one of Hid Chachut. Hid Chachut is just like this is the, this, the month of the spring, Chodesh Aviv, which means new life, metamorphosis. A new mindset. I didn't at all know what was right and what was wrong.